Sessions. Hey guys, my name is Amy Sock and I'm the makeup artist here at Bedazzle. Today I'll be demonstrating tips and tricks when applying makeup on mature skin. The model's eyebrows are already tattooed in, but she requested it to be slightly darker so I'm just going in with a flat definer brush in the shade Soul to darken the shape. Then using concealer to carve out the shape even further and blending it with the lip brush. With an eye gel primer, just applying it to the eyelids and blending it with the foundation brush. Ensure that you set the primer using a pressed powder so you have a smooth canvas to blend on. I am using the Conceal Perfecto brush to do so. Bring up the brow and using a blending brush, use the shade Wonder to two thirds of the lip. Because the model had hooded eyes, I asked her to close her eyes before applying the transition shade just to act as a guide when determining how far up I wanted the shadow. This will create almost a fake crease. Next apply a union on the outer corners, sort of like a sideways U shape, making sure not to reach the brow bone. Blending is definitely key, so take your time and go layer by layer until you achieve a nice gradient. Here I'm applying Zen on the inner half of the lid, this will brighten up the eye look. I'm using a large shader brush just to pack on the colour. For eyeshadow, I definitely recommend using all matte shadows just because shimmers or shine will really accentuate the lines that are on the eyes. Once I have a visual outline of how it's going to look, darken up the corners. I am using Dignified to do so. Again, you want to gently bring up the brow for eyeliner so that you get as close as possible to the lash line. What's amazing about Eye of Horus's Smoky Black Goddess pencil is that it doubles as a liner and a smudger. So I use the eye pencil to apply the liner, then flipping the pencil to the other side, it has a smudger to give that smoky effect. To darken the smoky effect, I'm going in with a large shader brush and jet to pack on the collar. Curl the lashes, prepping it for mascara and then applying a thin coat. Use a foundation brush to moisturize the face. Skincare is the most important part of the routine, especially for mature skin, to keep the makeup looking fresh and healthy. Ofra's moisturizer is perfect because not only is it a moisturizer, but it also acts as a primer to lock in the makeup all day. Here I'm using Ofra's water-based foundation and distributing it evenly across the face. For mature skin, you really want to go for a foundation that's light on the skin just so that it wouldn't cake up the face. Water-based foundations are perfect examples. Then I'm just dabbing it into the skin with a damp beauty sponge. Using a sponge ensures that the foundation feels and looks lightweight. Conceal under the eyes to hide any grey areas to brighten up the eyes as well. Then blending it using the same beauty sponge. I'm just applying wispy lashes and staying closest to the lash line as possible. Bronze the edges of the face and the nose using the contour brush. Using loose powder, I'm setting the concealer. This ensures that it does not crease. Also set anywhere around the face that tends to get oily as well. Brush off the excess powder with a powder brush. Then highlighting the cheekbones and the tip and the bridge of the nose. Also the brow bone and the cupid's bow. I went in with a more intense highlighter on the inner tear ducts just to brighten up the eyes and look more awake. Then finishing off the look with a nude lip liner and lipstick. Also follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest at Beauty Dazzle Beauty and Twitter at Beauty Dazzle One.